All boys dream of becoming knights. The boys with talent dream of becoming Kingsguard. The boys without talent? Well, I wouldn't know. I remember the day the Lord Commander wrote my name down in the White Book, the official record of the Kingsguard. At 16, the youngest member ever to join. Knighted by Sir Arthur and Sir Barristan for valor against the Kingswood Brotherhood. An outlaw had decided to try his luck against a lowly squire. He wasn't using his head, so I took it off him. Shortly afterwards, King Aris II, who hadn't yet earned the title of the Mad King, took me into his service. If I have ever been happy, it was that day. For centuries, the King's God had been the glory of the realm. Aegon the Conqueror had established the Order as his personal guardians after uniting Westeros with fire and blood. He knew that some of his subjects wouldn't take to conquest, and his dragons were no use against knives in the dark. No doubt surrounding himself with the greatest knights in Westeros made his rule more palatable and less foreign as well. Everyone in his kingdom soon knew the names and sung the songs of the King's God. I certainly did from my earliest days. Lord Commander Gerald Hightower, the White Bull. Arthur Dane, the Sword of the Morning. Barristan Selmy, the Bold. Prince Lewin Martell. Oswald Wendt, Jonathan Derry, and, soon enough, the boy prodigy, me. We protected the king and his family. We killed his enemies and led his armies. We gave him counsel when asked and kept his secrets when not. We swore to hold no lands, take no wives, and father no children, like the Night's Watch, except with a real job to do. Was I awed to see my name inscribed in the same book as my heroes? Of course not. I was 16 and brilliant. I knew it belonged there. Beside the name of Prince Aemon the Dragon Knight, who wielded the Valyrian sword Dark Sister, he died defending King Aegon the Unworthy from assassins, though the king had insulted Aemon throughout his reign and had well earned his fate, because Prince Aemon had sworn our oath. Beside the name of Sir Gwain Corbury, who dueled the Targaryen bastard Daemon Blackfire for an hour during the Battle of the Red Grass Field, though outmatched and grievously wounded, because Sir Gwain had sworn our oath. Beside the name of Sir Duncan the Tall, who as a hedge knight broke several of Prince Arian Targaryen's teeth while defending a Dornish woman. He later rose to Lord Command and burned beside his king at Summerhall, because Sir Duncan had sworn our oath. And now, below the name of Jamie Lannister, you know how it reads. What I did, even though I had sworn our oath. That was years and a hand ago. When I joined the King's Guard, I fought beside legends in the flesh. Their kind is dust now. And the men who have taken their place? Mud. Sir Boris Blunt, the fat. Sir Marin Trant, the forgettable. Santa Clegane, the dog who tucked tail and ran. Like mud, their names soiled the White Book. Almost as much as mine.